Top 3 Terrifying Crimes of the Month, June 2019 Crimes of all sorts happen everywhere as often as we blink our eyes. In this video series, we'll showcase the top chilling stories of crimes committed within the past several weeks. Number 3. The Disappearance of Malaya Davis It has already been two weeks since the four-year-old Malaya Davis was reported missing. The young girl was last seen on May 5th with her stepfather, Darian Vence, and the latter's two-year-old son. The trio were on their way to the George Bush Intercontinental Airport to pick up Malaya's mother. An investigation conducted by Houston Police Department cited Vence, saying that he pulled over his silver Nissan Altima on Greens Road and Highway 59 to check on his flat tire. Vence further told the authorities that as soon as they stopped, a blue pickup truck pulled up from behind. Two men emerged from the vehicle. The strangers, according to Vence, appeared to be of Hispanic descent. They told him that Malaya looked nice and sweet. Vence told the detectives that one of the men from the truck hit him on the head. The blow was apparently hard enough to render him unconscious. The next thing Vence noticed was that he was inside the truck with his son and Malaya, along with the three aforementioned kidnappers. Vence went in and out of consciousness throughout the trip, which ended on Highway 6 in Sugarland at around 6 in the evening of that day. He was with his son, but Malaya and the Nissan car were nowhere to be found. With no one to ask for help, Vence went to a nearby hospital. They arrived at the place around 10 p.m. to report and ask for assistance. According to the police, Malaya was last seen wearing a light blue zip-up jacket, blue jeans, and a pair of white and pink sneakers. She was also wearing a pink bow in her hair. Brittany Bowens, Malaya's mother, has since been calling for help to find the missing girl. Mommy loves you. And I'm sorry this had to happen to you. Police investigation on Malaya's disappearance is still ongoing. Number 2. Dallas Transgender Attacked and Murdered Malaysia Booker a transgender woman suffered her grim fate twice over after being beaten to a pulp in April and shot dead the following month. According to the reports, the Dallas police received a call about a shooting incident on May 18th in Valley Glen Drive around 7 in the morning. The victim was found lying face down in the street, dead from a gunshot wound. The deceased was not immediately identified for the lack of any identification means. However, the medical examination conducted on the case later confirmed the body belonging to Booker. Today at approximately 3 p.m., the victim was positively identified as Malaysia Booker. Prior to the shooting incident, the 22-year-old was assaulted in broad daylight by a group of men in the parking lot of an apartment complex in Dallas. The brutal assault was captured on video and has since gone viral on social media. Police investigation ruled the cause of physical altercation as something to do with minor traffic problem. The clip showed the men repeatedly punching and kicking Booker even when she already fell to the ground. One person, Edward Thomas, 29, was arrested for charges of aggravated assault. Thomas has already been out of jail, but his whereabouts are unknown. Meanwhile, the Dallas police attributed Booker's death to homicidal violence, and no evidence can be found as of late that can link it to the attack last month. Authorities, including Dallas Mayor Mike Rawlings, called on the public to offer information that could help solve both the April assault and May shooting cases. Booker is among the many transgender individuals who are victims of acts of violence committed against members of LGBTQ. In the country, there were already at least 26 related cases reported this year, and majority of them were black transgender women. Number 1. Fetal Abduction in Chicago One of the most chilling crimes that ever happened in the past few weeks involved the murder of a pregnant woman with her baby getting cut out of her womb alive. Yes, you heard that right. It's gruesome, and it's as bad as it gets. And this rare crime has a name, fetal abduction. The victim in question was a 19-year-old, Marlene Ochoa Lopez. She was nine months pregnant when she was killed, and her yet-to-be-born baby boy carved out from her womb using a butcher's knife. In May, Chicago police announced charges of first-degree murder filed against a certain Clarissa Figaro, 46, and her daughter Desiree, 24. According to the report, 
Ochoa Lopez was heading to the home of Figueroa's in the Scottsdale neighborhood of Chicago last April to answer a Facebook post offering free baby clothes. Police investigation conducted on the missing Ochoa Lopez led to Clarissa Figueroa's home, where they found the victim's car not far from the place. On that same day that Ochoa Lopez was reported missing, Mrs. Figueroa called paramedics, where she claimed to have given birth. The Illinois State Police conducted DNA test on Figueroa's supposedly newborn baby. It was confirmed that the suspect was not the mother of the child. The police enacted a search warrant order on Figueroa's home. There, they discovered bleach and cleaning supplies. Ochoa Lopez's body was also found contained in a garbage can. The younger Figueroa confessed to authorities of allegedly helping her mother and strangling Ochoa Lopez to her death using a cable wire. Based on initial findings, police believed that Clarissa Figueroa had wanted to raise Ochoa Lopez's child as her own. Meanwhile, the child remains in grave condition after being admitted to a suburban Chicago hospital. According to experts, there were roughly 30 similar crimes that happened between 1987 and 2015 across the U.S. In most cases, mothers were slain and the babies were taken. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this.